Right, that's all done. <laughs> Why can't Why I use blenders? Today you're making a geometric fruit tart. Now these are all about making fun patterns from your fruit topping. So I've got all my ingredients fresh from Lidl and I'm gonna start with this, a bit of ready rolled short crust pastry. So I'm gonna unroll it, grab your tray, I'm gonna get my pastry, throw it on like that, press it into the corners nice and gently, you don't wanna tear it, prick the base a little bit, and now it goes into the freezer for 15 minutes. While that's setting, I'm gonna get the oven on quickly and then get going on the fruity filling. So for this, I'm gonna add strawberries and raspberries into a blender. Now Lidl's British berries are always so fresh and juicy. We're gonna add a real fruitiness to our tart. Right, I'm gonna pour it into a sieve. Ooh. Let it all drip through just to get rid of all the seeds. Just gonna add in three tablespoons of Greek yogurt and then one to two tablespoons of icing sugar. And then into this, we're gonna add our jelly. So I've got my dissolved jelly cubes here. I'm just gonna pour that in and I'm gonna let that set for 45 minutes. Right, I'm gonna go get my base out the freezer. That's set, so I'm gonna place it onto a baking tray, grab a bit of greaseproof paper, place it on top of your tart like that, add on my baking beans. And that's gonna go into the oven for 15 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the baking beans, carefully. And then that can go back into the oven for another 15. Right, my pastry base is out of the oven. It's had loads of time to cool down. So, just trim off the edges nice and neatly around the top. Now it's time for the jam. I'm gonna put in two teaspoons of jam, and then just get a little brush. And this jam's really gonna hold everything together and give our tart a sweet stickiness. Okay, time for the filling. Carefully ladle in a couple of dollops. There we go. Right, that's gonna set in the fridge for four hours and I'm gonna get on with my geometric topping. So I've got my fruit here. I'm gonna start with the mango. And the aim here is to get nice geometric slices of fruit. I'm gonna do triangles like this. There's some triangles there. Maybe some strawberry triangles would be nice. Strawberries are done. I'm gonna move on to the kiwis. And these kiwi slices are gonna add a real zing to your topping. Try and create a nice pattern. There you go. Last strawberry in. That is a geometric work of art. Even if I do so so myself. 